Hey guys, I thought I would come with a new video for you guys to show you what I'm making this week. I have some turkey sausage, which has 10 grams of protein. The best part about it is it only has two grams of carbs. Um, I'm really excited to try these. I'm not really big on turkey, but we'll see if it works out okay. Um, next, I have some baby carrots. This is gonna be my snack for the week. Um, after that, we have this Mexicali sour cream and cheese dip, which I'm gonna be eating with the carrots as part of uh, my breakfast. Or so actually, it's gonna be part of my snack. I don't know why I said that, but it has two grams of protein, only 70 calories per serving, and three grams of carbohydrates. Next, I have these grape tomatoes. These are actually gonna be a part of my breakfast and my dinner. Um, I love grape tomatoes. I have some almonds. I'm going to eat just the serving size of those. I have some strawberries, which I'm gonna eat with the almonds as a part of my snack for the day. Um, next up, I have a whole head of cauliflower that's gonna be with my dinner. I have some two types of ground beef here, ground chuck and ground beef, and then some mild cheddar cubes. I have some lettuce for my dinner as well. And then I have some very expensive um, bourbon salmon filet. So I'm gonna start with breakfast first. So we're gonna start with the all natural turkey sausage. Um, it's 10 links in here. I'm only making breakfast for four days. I'm gonna use my regular skillet that I've been using for years. I'm just gonna add in about two tablespoons of water to a hot skillet. And then I'm going to add in the uh, turkey sausage and then I'm gonna cook for about three to four minutes on each side. While that's cooking, I'm gonna get started on the salmon. I already touched it with my hand so it's all over the place. I'm gonna heat about two tablespoons of oil in a skillet on medium high. And then once that's hot enough, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the salmon to the pan. So right now I got the salmon cooking. This is at medium high heat. I'm gonna cook it while the sausage is um, chilling. This is gonna be on medium high heat for three to four minutes and then I'm gonna flip it over. So while the salmon is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get this Mexicali sour cream and cheese dip together for my snack. Um, the cool thing about it with these containers is they have three pieces. They have the bottom, the top, and then this little middle piece that you can use. The awesome thing um, about the little middle piece is it separates your dips from whatever you're using to dip. So I'm gonna measure two tablespoons of the Mexicali, which is the serving size. Um, and I'm just gonna place that in there. The cool thing about it is they all fit together. So I can just put that two tablespoons right in the top and it doesn't make whatever I'm using to dip soggy, which is super cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the baby carrots. Um, I like this because it's only 30 calories and the serving size is um, 34 pieces, but it's actually just three ounces. I think they mean chopped up, but I don't know. But I'm gonna use um, the scale that I got from my job um, to measure them out. The cool thing about this scale is I got it for free as a part of this workout program called Rally Coach. You can check with your job to see if they support it, but they literally pay for it. It is a nutritionist who will provide you with meals and they provide you with workouts. And it's like, it's a cool little support group that I've been a part of for the last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the scale on. Um, it starts at zero and I'm just gonna measure in the baby carrots until it hits about three ounces. Um, I fucking love the scale and these little containers are super duper cute. Um, I'm probably gonna do maybe two ounces. I think three ounces is a little much for me at this time. All right, so I'm done with my snacks. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the salmon over since it's been about um, four minutes on each side. Um, guys, this smells so, so good. I am absolutely obsessed with salmon. Look how good it looks. So while the salmon is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my breakfast. I'm gonna do two turkey sausages per container. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I'm only preparing for uh, four days of food. For me personally, doing any more than that, the food starts to taste gross. So I'll just recook on Thursday. So I'm gonna go ahead now and add my second half of my breakfast, which is these mild cheddar cheese cubes. It's about seven cubes per serving, 110 calories, and it's about six grams of protein in like a negligible amount of carbohydrates. So I'm gonna use this little measuring cup I have to measure out seven cheddar cheese cubes. Um, it's just easier for me than digging in the bag. I just pour it into my hand and pour it into the container. It's probably extra fancy, but yeah, that's me. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my third half of the breakfast, which are some grape tomatoes. Um, I'm going to actually measure these on the scale to make sure that I get the um, correct amount for a serving for me. I try not to get that many, so I'm doing about two ounces. All right, so the salmon is completely done. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the um, lettuce tacos and I'm gonna add in some seasonings. One of my seasonings is um, this beef bouillon. I used to love that they came in cubes, but I actually like that it comes in this powdered form too. I think it's really cool. All right, after the bouillon, I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of seasoning salt. Um, it makes it taste so good. And I'm also gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in a little less than one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. I try not to use a lot of sea salt, so maybe like two pinches. So next I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my second snack of the day. I'm gonna use this little scale and this little measuring cup. Um, this is gonna be the first half of it, which is almonds. And I'm not really big on almonds. These are not salted, but I'm gonna measure out about one ounce of these. Um, that's gonna give me a good amount of protein and almonds are really good for keeping you full for an extended period of time. It's a really healthy snack, especially after bariatric surgery. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out strawberries. I'm gonna do about a half a cup. It's a lot easier to measure it if they're sliced already, but if you wanna eyeball it, it is about four strawberries per serving. Next, I'm gonna measure out about three ounces of the taco meat. It's gonna go into this little small section of my container. Um, right now, I'm just making sure that I get my lunch stuff together. Then to finish up my lunch, I'm gonna add in two leaves of lettuce and then about four to five um, Roma tomatoes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the quinoa. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah, um, it's 160 calories per serving and each serving is a quarter cup. That's five grams of protein, 27 carbs, but it has five grams of fiber, so that equals to about 22 grams of carbs. And you're just gonna make this the way it's supposed to, one cup of quinoa and two cups of boiling water. So if you've never had quinoa and you ask someone who's eaten quinoa if quinoa is good, they're lying to you when they say it tastes delicious. I'm gonna actually add some cilantro to mine, some shaved Parmesan, a little bit of garlic powder, some Italian seasonings, and some sea salt. I have to add all this, guys. It's just not good. I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of butter. The last part of my dinner is cauliflower. I got this whole head of cauliflower from Publix. I prefer fresh cauliflower over frozen. I just like preparing it that way. And they add stuff sometimes and I don't really season my cauliflower. I just add a little salt and maybe a little bit of pepper. So now that my quinoa is done, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one fourth tablespoon of garlic powder. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in about one half teaspoon of Italian seasonings. And then I'm gonna do about one fourth to one half cup of Parmesan cheese as well. And then I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of butter. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in about one fourth cup of cilantro. This is a personal preference, guys. Um, you can eat yours however you see fit. And then I'm also gonna add in for a good measure, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my quinoa. I'm going to um, use a half cup measuring cup. Um, I'm gonna put in, I want to say maybe two ounces of it. I think that's the most I can actually eat in one sitting, but um, two ounces isn't really a lot, but it gets you the protein that you need, but I might do, yeah, about two. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the cauliflower. Um, I didn't record um, me actually measuring out the salmon, but the salmon came up to about three and a half, four ounces a piece. For the cauliflower, we're gonna be looking at maybe two to three of the little florets to meet my protein goal. Now, if you've been doing your protein math, my cauliflower, salmon, and quinoa came up to about 30 grams. My ground beef and taco came up to about 22 grams. And then for my two snacks, I have four grams and six grams, and my breakfast is 14 grams. So that's it for me for the day. I will put the information in the box below, and thank you guys so much for watching.